What's up everyone? Today's uh, Monday, Easter Monday, which means public holiday again. Just feels like every second day in Melbourne is public holiday. Which is good I guess, but means my gym's shut again. So we're gonna go to Inter Fitness again um, and train there because I kinda like that gym. It's got no background music, which is good for the vlogs because then I don't get flagged. Um, so first things first, just woke up, gonna have my oats as per usual, just 80 grams of oats with a scoop of protein in there. And then I'm gonna put a banana, berries, maybe some PB2 powder, um, just the usual. And then maybe even some almond flakes. So just getting my shakes ready too. Got some WPI in here, glutamine, creatine as my post-workout, amino energy as my intra-workout, as per usual. Yeah, so gonna head to the gym soon, get it out of the way nice and early, and then um, maybe enjoy the day. Depending on what I get up to. Hopefully get some salmon later. Have salmon Monday. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all. Uh, wakey, wakey. Time to get it done. While everyone's hungover on a public holiday. We just got to the gym. I'm going to press play in the car. Shit. Boy, got the hoodie on. That's it, man. Fuck, might even need a large soon. You're shredding all that weight off. What is, what is this? That's XL. Oh, well, I'll give you another one. Go in this way. Getting the pre-workout stack going, so we're going to have one scoop of Agmatine for massive pumps. Got some carnitine um, with caffeine, making me focus really good, and obviously burn some fat. And then this is our pre-workout intense. Double scoop that. Fucking boom, boom, get it done. Woo! All right, boys and girls, we're just getting started on the bicep curls with the dumbbells. Hitting about 12 reps the first one, then we're gonna bump it up a little bit, shoot for a little bit heavier around the eight rep range. Where's the lens, dirty? Here we go. A sip. Good. Be smooth. Look at them branches. Alright, so we just finished up on um, four sets of dumbbell curls with the twist. So now we're going to move into our barbell curls. What do you reckon, 40? Yeah. And then 45? These have got the fatter grips, so they're a bit harder. So hit 40 first, I reckon. Alright, let's hit it. Ooh, yeah, look at that lighting. There you go. Easy, man. Rip it out. Oh, yeah. Look at that pump. Come on. Four. Three. That's it. Nasty oh. top. Aim. Second set coming up. Fucking stage lean already. What just happened? 
Huh? What just happened? What? Your arm just dribbled in size. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait till you watch this back. Oh. Oh. Come on, catch it. Break the momentum on at the top. Catch slowly down. Good. Let's see. Five spaghetti. Set number two. Fat grips. Forty-five. Come on. Yeah. Get it up, man. Curl. Curl. That's it, man. Yeah, buddy. Damn. Look at this man. <laughs> I let it focus. Shit. Get them gains. Um, so we're gonna hit the actual preacher curl. Because we don't have one of these at our gym, so we're gonna take make good use of it. We normally do one arm with a dumbbell. Um, so we're gonna get an easy curl bar and do it on the seated. This bad boy right here. Yeah. Huh? Take a sit. Yep, squeeze. Good. That's better. Two. Come on, really burn it out, yeah? Three. Not too low, yeah? Four. Five. Good. Come on, go. I spot you. Six. Seven. Come on, 110. Up. Hold it there. Breathe. Eight. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Ten. You. <laughs> oh. You missed it. Sorry. <laughs> ah, he burns. Ah, that, Shit. Yeah. That Agmatine will get you. Uh. Pumps are real. Breach your curl, baby. Look at those humps. Those mighty lumps. Damn. Yep. Nice and slow down, brother. That's it. Wow. Them biceps. Beast. Look at that vein. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make you work. Come on. Alright. Alright. Come on. Come on, yep. Oh yeah. Whoo! Peace. Put your arms up like Arnie. That's it. Fuck. Got the Yeah. So, finish up on the preacher. So we're going to hit some hammer kills and some forearm hammer kills to target that corner there. <laughs> Can't even point to it. The fucking outer corner, that's what we're targeting in that forearm. Beast mode. 
Oh yeah, swelling up now. Come on, let's go man, rip it out, chase it. Finish the buys off. All day. Yep. Hot tea. Black tea. <laughs> um. Chasing him, Bill Heath forearms. Let's do this. Make sure you get those holds at the bottom, every rep. That's what's going to give you that thickness. Look at them triceps. Controlling that up too. Super said that shit. Sneaky ab reveal. <laughs> I'm coming at you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Olympia 2035. Great <laughs> uh, <creating>. team. <laughs> Swell dog, baby. Ooh, a bit shaky here, mate. <laughs> Easy, bro. So that wraps up four sets on the push downs. Now we normally do dips, weighted dips, but we're going to hit close grip bench presses instead because my shoulder's playing up a little bit. So it just eases off the pressure. Um, so this is our mass building exercise. Oh, yeah. All right, so with these ones, doing close grip bench presses. You only want, really want to do shoulder width apart on the bar, okay? You don't want to hold it this close so that when you're coming down, it fucks up your wrist and shit, yeah? You can still load up your tricep when the weight is traveling straight down into your shoulder and onto the tricep. So basically, tuck your elbows in, hold it about shoulder width apart. And you want to slide up the bench a little bit. Bottom of your pick. Lower it to the bottom of the sternum. about that eccentric too. Uh. Uh. <coughs> oh damn son <laughs> getting them pumps on now uh. um yeah how you feel? Uh, <laughs> What's up, dog? <laughs> I'm gonna put a bit more on. 
shoot for like that 8 to 10 rep range. It's got 12 on this one. And that's how you get those horseshoe triceps. Heavy, huh? Yeah. So, just making sure that we really stretch out from the top to the bottom by going all the way down and all the way up, locking that out every rep. None of this pulse bullshit. Beast mode. Just making sure that we go through the full range, top to bottom, stretching out the long head. That wraps up our arm workout. Hope you guys got a few tips from that. We're about to go get some sushi to feed them muscles. Feeling pretty good actually. Very pumped up from all the carbs from Isa, so. You. That's it, man. Look at this stance on that sexy AMG. Oh damn! Sashimi upon sashimi. Four rolls each. That's what's up. Got the um, salmon, spicy prawn, and California. No, just salmon and spicy, spicy prawn. Tuna. Oh, tuna as well. Spicy prawn, spicy tuna. Are you excited? Wow. How excited are you to get into this? Yes. We, we walked past the burger store before and we're like, fuck, should we get burgers? And then he's like, hey, Kareem, dude, you just did cardio this morning, man. I'm, what's the point of that? <laughs> just going backwards. So we get the. Oh, yeah. Get the lean gains. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For you, sir? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The best way to have wasabi. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Time to go for a shop, buy some appliances, because Kareem's gonna start doing that meal prep. So he needs stove top, electrical powered. Where is the electrical appliances? What we came for electric powered cooker. And when you're shopping with Kareem, you don't just buy one, you buy two. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's extremist for you. What else do we need? We need a kettle or toaster, maybe two toasters. Just cook eight pieces of toast at once. I mean, the four's not enough. <laughs> I mean, it's all about saving time, you know? Yeah, what is that? Tea maker. Tea. <laughs> Shit. Get that black tea. It automatically lowers the tea in and out of the fucking water. Oh, you say it. The shit tea maker, bro. That tea. <laughs> tea. Hot tea. Hot tea. <laughs> You're balling when you buying a $240 toast maker. Is the toast taste I mean, the toast must come out pretty fucking good. What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking, now that's what you call a blender. Yeah. 1500 big ones. You'd be making some serious smoothies if you buy that. <laughs> Look at that. This kettle, you can choose what temperature you want it. So, you know, if you want green tea with that 80 degrees, or maybe you want black tea and you got the 100. Get this bad boy, man. 20% off. $134? $134? Just getting those appliances. Meal prepping. Good. Just put the salmon on the pan. This one already comes pre marinated, so I'm gonna test this out. Normally, just get the plain one, put cane pepper and salt on it. Um, but I'm keen to suss out what this tastes like. Potatoes are already browning up, so they should be good to go soon. A few more minutes on them. And then we're laughing, mate. And here we have it, the final dish. It's got my salad. The salmon looks a bit different to how it normally comes out um, because it's got the marinade on it. It's a different color, it's got no skin on it, but um, looks pretty tasty. I might put some cayenne pepper on there, some salt, and then we're good to go. That's what you call a meal for a king. Anyway, I'm gonna dig into this bad boy. Woo! Put the salt on there, yeah! Alright, I'll let you know how it tastes. 
I absolutely devoured that meal. All gone. My opinion on the marinated salmon is that it's not as good as the regular. Hey, where you going? It's not as good as the regular salmon. I'll make the regular salmon taste like a boss. Just with the cayenne pepper and the salt, so I'm gonna stick to that. The teriyaki kind of marinade, I don't know, it doesn't really do it for me. So I'm gonna just buy the regular one from our one. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. We'll um, check in tomorrow when we're training chest, I think. So yeah, we'll hit you up then. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>